Hi, I promised you guys I was going to make some more music content on YouTube and guess what? Today is the day. I am going to be participating in a sample challenge and it's hosted by Cozy Kev. Now if you guys don't know who he is, he is a good friend of mine who is also a producer based in Chicago. I don't know what's gonna come out of my brain. We're just gonna go with the flow, see what we can come up with, or actually see what I can come up with. Basically, he announced it in his Discord server, which I'll link down below right here. Here's a sample, if I haven't shown you guys that already. Yeah, let's just get right on with it. Let's just actually go to the studio now. So I'll see you guys there. See you guys there. We are here in my studio and I am pretty much all set to go. So there was this part of the sample where it had the flutes that were playing at the very end. I really liked it. so. I wanted to use that. This is the part that I mean. So here we go. Really simple. Just da -da -da. those like three notes. Oh my God, why is my dad calling me? Hello? <gasps> Portillo's? Oh my God, I would love Portillo's. Do you know if they're open? But also, do you think it's safe to go out? Because I don't know if like, cause like I haven't had Portillo's in a long time, but at the same time, like we don't know if anyone and that area has the virus, you know? Ugh, that freaking sucks. Sorry about that. So what I'm thinking about is I'm gonna chop it up um, and put it in my machine right here so that way I could add some kind of like melody or chord progression or whatever. What we're gonna do is bounce this track, blue three note. We're gonna just call it as that. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up, actually create like a new like software instrument and I'm just gonna pull up machine. Where'd it go? Native Instruments Machine 2. Okay, cool. So then what I'm gonna do is, do I have any files that are open? Samples. Actually, I'm gonna create a new group. Normally I would put group A, so like the orange. I put that normally as like my drum kits or whatever and then everything miscellaneous in different group files. I rarely do that but in this case I am going to do that. So I'm just gonna drag the sample three times. I'll show you guys what I mean by why. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this part right here. So, so I select like the area to which part I want to use in that sample. So in this case the first note, right? So then I go to slice mode on my machine, actually edit, and then I'm just gonna move this around so that way I can cut that specific part. So then I would have. Yay, neat. Now I think I'm gonna fade out that bit. So then we have. So that way there wouldn't be that drastic of a cutoff where it has like a click sound. We don't want that, so that's why I had a fade out option at the very end of the sample, so it just sounds like so, And then I repeat those steps on the last two samples, okay? So we're gonna fast forward this starting now. I'm already feeling tired just because I did that. <laughs> so we got that down. I want to export that. Ooh, that's fire. Ah, that's hot. <laughs> I think I want to cut out like the low frequencies so that I could focus on the high pitch frequencies more. Okay, so I'm just going to be relying on my computer the whole time instead for filming because I don't want my battery to die. Plus, I don't want to keep going back and forth just to stop recording. 
I think for right now, we're just gonna leave it at that. I'm just gonna get started on the beat now. So, I'm gonna pull up uh, my sample manager, so that way I would have a more easier time trying to, oh, I realize the camera's right here. So um, that way, I don't have to go back and forth in different folders trying to find whatever sample. If you guys are interested in using the sample manager, it's actually for free. So you can go on the ADSR website um, in order to download that for free. All you do is to download the plugin and then you import all of your samples into the plugin and then it reads out uh, all the samples that you have whether it be a kick drum or a snare or a hi-hat or a loop, it'll organize that for you. So yeah, I would highly recommend it. Let's just look for kick drums first. Yeah, that one's cute. No, I think that's too hard for this one. Maybe? Yeah, that's... Fine, I guess I'll roll with it. Next thing I want to do is finding some snares, I guess. Okay, let's check it out. I guess what I don't like about this snare is like how it has like that kind of like delay at the end. I would like to use like a clap though. for hi-hats, shall we? I think what I want to do before I keep going with the drums is I'm going to go in to mixing this sample so because I just feel like it's not loud enough. I want to add a bass because it's kind of bothering me if I just only play that sample alone with just the drums. I actually really like that a lot. What if I add like a like a frequency echo plugin? some sound design on serum now so okay so i think what i'm going to do next is i'm going to export or bounce all of the drums and then i'm just going to drag and drop into my project file <laughs> I think I'm gonna start recording for a little bit so that I could have some more time mixing everything and then master everything. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just visited my parents' place for a little bit. I know that with this turmoil relating to the virus right now, I still just mainly go out to just see my family. But anyways, I went to my parents to pick up some spaghetti, but also I spent time with my family for a little bit because it's been a while since I even went outside my house 
And even yesterday, I was getting a little bit delirious because I just really wanted to get out the house. Uh, but at the same time, I didn't want to risk getting sick, so I just only went out for a little bit. Fingers crossed that this will pass as soon as possible. Hopefully later in the next like two or three months or so, maybe a little bit more than that. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, I think I'm just gonna leave this as is. I might make a full version of this song. If you guys have any suggestions of what more I can add like with the intro or something, or if you guys actually want me to finish the song, then let me know in the comments because I'm actually digging it right now. I might finish it in the later future, but for right now, we're just working what we have. So yeah, I think I'm gonna master it. I'm gonna do some more mixing and I'll let you guys know once everything is figured out. So, in the meantime, just watch this time lapse of me mixing my song for a second. So, here we go. <laughs> Neato! Okay, so I guess that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in watching more content like this. I pretty much had some fun with it. Subscribe, like and share this video, turn your post notifications so you know when to post another video. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, Audius, etc. All those links are going to be listed in the description below. Yeah, if you don't, that's cool too. But other than that, I think that's it. I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.